Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 67. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class R1 Asian Tour. My voice is a little bit better. Uh, I've gotten over the illness from the last stream. Um, yeah, let's get started. Start off with Suzuka, then Twin Ring Mategi, and then Sakuba. Let's get going. Okay, phone, you can stay on the floor. That is your home now. What use an, uses an Uno reverse card? You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> That's great. Oh, no, 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 no! The spaceship has gone wide! Fuck you! Gone are the days of when developers actually made games run good. That's a good idea. Here's my easy two-step guide to uh, avoiding speeding tickets. Step one, stick an Uno reverse card onto your bumper. Step two, speed. <laughs> Sorry, officer. I think you were speeding. That is great. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, almost flat out. If I post an Uno reverse card into the post, does it come back to me? <laughs> Genuine question, though. I wonder... They should. Microsoft should be paying me to play Forza. They'd have to also buy me a PC that works as well. <laughs> because Microsoft software is dreadful. <laughs> Today's sponsor, Microsoft. Fuck Microsoft. That's such a good meme. Dickweed. Oh, uh, 
How are you today, Cotto? Welcome to the stream. How is Clone Hero treating you? Finally joined the uh, the good game, as opposed to whatever on earth that is. <laughs> Slim Shady. My name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. See, the issue is the way that I've started the content for this mega series, like, I can't crop the videos down. Like, the whole point of the mega series is to play through the games, chat a load of shit, and just have fun. That was the point of the mega series when it started off. Now it's getting later on. Like, I really wish that I had the time and the energy to edit videos to 10 minute videos. I think if I could have done a 10 minute video, just me chatting some absolute bollocks with chat for each championship, you know. But then again, I don't think it worked that well. I don't know, I'm really... I, I'm not too sure. I think I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I just wish I maybe didn't pick such a long game to do it with. Because there's a lot to Forza. If I had have done F1, I would have been easily done by now. I would have done all the Formula 1 games by Codemasters. So... Oops. Do, 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 do. That was one hell of a corner. Yeah, I, I suppose it could be like that. But I think when it comes to me doing an F1 series, I'd want to do something where I'm sort of relying on the replay cameras as well. I don't know. It, it's very difficult to work something out without actually doing it. Yeah, it is the same cars, but at the same time, it's the experience of going through what would be a Formula 1 driver's career, in theory. I mean, you think Lewis Hamilton has been through more seasons than Codemasters has made Formula 1 games. Here's the thing, if Lewis takes part, if Lewis Hamilton takes part in the next three seasons, you do, you do, Hines. Uh, yeah, if Lewis Hamilton takes part in the next three seasons of Formula One, which he's guaranteed to take part in the next one, and I think maybe the one after, if he takes part in, in three more, he's done 20 years in Formula One. It'll be his 20th year. That's fucking nuts to think about. 20 years in Formula 1. It's impressive, to say the least. Here's the thing. I would agree that Hamilton's been in Formula 1 for too long if it wasn't for the fact that Hamilton is still a very fast driver compared to a lot of drivers out there. Like, if you compare Hamilton to... Uh, I mean, Lando Norris, right? He's had four or five years in Formula 1 now. I think he's on his fifth year this year. Peel will kick your ass. Oh, the Peel P15 might actually win. Oh, I spoke too soon.
Ah, uh, the fuck's sake! How have I won again? I think it's actually time to uh, ban myself from Battle Royales now. Why he didn't go for a heal? I don't know. Yeah, I got the Mark V Supra. Woo! Big whoop. Nice BMW. Zim Zima, who got the keys to my motherfucking Beamer? Wait. Not bad at all. I will take that. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. So, yeah, for this... Um, what's it called? This build-up before. The plan was to do, like, a little bit of Forza and then a little bit of WRC. Uh, like Dirt Rally to get into the mood for WRC. I can't do that anymore. Uh, so what I need to do... I have to... Um, stream Forza Motorsport every single day. Then the plan is to do a join-a-thon. So I'm starting at 12. 12 UK time. I will finish at midnight. Any time that gets added. So if anyone joins the channel as a channel member, I will start the stream from the day after. And I will do the same, starting at 12, finishing at midnight. If we only get five minutes added, I only do a five minute stream. Like... So... That is the plan. I'm hoping it's going to be fun. Because the thing is, all I'm going to be playing is WRC. I'm not allowed to play anything other than WRC. You're on that leaderboard. I'm going to be changing uh, as well for the um, Joinathon and for subsequent streams afterwards. That banner at the top. Is going to be somewhat changed. Um, I don't think I'm going to have it at all. Normally, it's like it's more of an incentive. Like, oh, you get your name on the stream and whatnot. 
it doesn't seem to work on YouTube as much. Um, on Twitch it does. Not so much on YouTube. So I'm going to get rid of that idea. Um, I'm still going to have like the alerts and everything. And what I might have is like have a feed. So every time someone subscribes or does something, they appear in the feed and then that's it. It disappears. Something like that. Yeah, like a short-term pop-up. So the alerts will still there, be there. You'll get your notifications and whatnot. I also need to uh, set up Streamlabs uh, just for like channel monitoring for like subs, channel memberships and whatnot. Because uh, Stream Elements is alright for like the actual alerts. But yo, Hines with a gifted membership. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for that. And Zeno gets another membership. My man Zeno keeps getting memberships left, right, and center. <laughs> that is crazy. And look, like, Zeno's car's there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>